Guys, welcome back to the Off-Grid Garage here in Thunderstorm, Australia today. And I've got my boom t-shirt on because I'm not sure what's going to happen here with this situation now. But um, I guess we will find out in just a few minutes. So if you hear the thunder cracking here, this is not because of the Frankenstein battery this time. This is uh, real. <laughs> Okay, here's the situation again. So we are on 99% state of charge. We are at 54.5 volt charge voltage, still charging with 11 amps around. Got some DC load running and some AC load. The pool pump is still running and the Bitcoin miner is running. 180 watt is coming here from our DC system and 25 watt from the PV inverter, which is actually good that it is so low because I'm not sure what is going to happen. And we also have an 1800 watt coming in from the generator, which is our Phoenix inverter being fed from the other battery now. And I really want to find out what is going to happen now once we hit the absorption voltage of uh, 56.8 volt. So once we hit this absorption voltage, the MultiPlus will then increase the frequency of the output to shut down the PV inverter, the micro inverter. This is our tilt system we have built a couple of months ago. Because it has no control over this micro inverter usually. And the frequency shifting is the only method to shut down or to slow down and to shut down this micro inverter and stop charging altogether. The PV chargers here are DC coupled and will stop charging automatically once we hit the 56.8 volt. The frequency shifting doesn't work anymore once you have an AC in. Either you are connected to your grid or to a generator or to another inverter. So any input in the AC in of your MultiPlus will automatically eliminate the frequency shift on the output because it cannot have 50 Hertz on the input and 55 Hertz on the output. It is not a frequency shifting device. So this frequency shifting of the MultiPlus works only in off-grid installations. So I think the MultiPlus will throttle and then finally shut down our generator so it doesn't take any power from the generator. But it cannot increase the frequency. So our PV inverter on top of the house, the microgrid inverter, will keep supplying power because it still sees the 50 Hertz here and keeps exporting energy basically. The MultiPlus on the other hand is trying to stop charging the battery because we have reached the absorption voltage. So it doesn't allow any energy into the battery anymore. And I think we will see an increase in voltage on the output of the MultiPlus, which the PV inverter is trying to match. And at some stage, the PV inverter will say, hey, this is too much, something is not right, I'll turn off. Okay, so we are now at 56.6 volts. So we are hitting absorption voltage and the PV DC chargers should turn off at some stage. And the MultiPlus is also throttling down our generator now because the battery is full. It doesn't take any more energy. So as you can see, even at 56.8 volts, we are not increasing the frequency anymore because we can't. We are dependent on the frequency delivered by the generator. So there's no way for the MultiPlus to increase the frequency. Unfortunately, the weather is so bad outside that our microinverter is producing zero watts. Well, I don't know either what's going to happen. I can just assume that either the MultiPlus will shut down because the output voltage gets so high or the microinverter will shut down before that because the voltage gets too high. So I don't actually think we are going to overcharge the battery because the MultiPlus will sort this out. I can't believe there's rain coming and it is that cloudy in the afternoon. We've got only shortly after 3 p.m. So we should still see like two and a half, three, three and a half, four kilowatt coming from solar. But um, this whole situation here was actually a question of one of you guys. And today I wanted to find out what is going to happen. Well, guys, so far this failed experiment from today. Please leave your comments down below. What do you expect what is going to happen? The MultiPlus is trying to turn off our PV inverter because our battery is full by increasing the frequency. But it cannot increase the frequency because there's an AC in signal. Will either the MultiPlus shut off completely because of a high voltage spike on the output? Or will the PV inverter shut down for the same reason? Or do we... Do we see a... An 
after clouds there is sunshine well kind of well unfortunately they have changed the app and the website for the micro inverter and i cannot see any protection parameters anymore i have some screenshots though found in my older videos and it shows that the over voltage protection basically is 275 volts for the micro inverter so only above 275 volts the micro inverter will shut down i'm not brave enough to test this because 270 volts is quite a lot usually we drive 230 235 240 volts here but 270 is a lot and i really don't want to test this so i assume once we hit the 56.8 volts the inverter cannot increase the frequency because there's an ac signal coming in with 50 hertz and it cannot change that the generator is fixed on 50 hertz but the multi plus will stop charging the battery at 56.8 volts as well so it will just turn off as we have seen it will ramp down the energy it takes from the generator down to 1000 watts and this was mainly because we have still used the 1000 watts here in our ac and dc load i'm not sure if it can go any lower than that actually it may turn off the generator altogether i don't know and then the energy coming in from our pv inverter here needs to go somewhere and if there is not enough load on the ac side and the inverter is not allowing to charge the battery anymore on the dc side where is this energy going yeah the inverter may increase the voltage and saying well i'm just blocking off this energy to come in but the pv inverter on the other hand will say hey the voltage is increasing i need to increase my voltage as well i still want to export these 70 watts coming from my solar it doesn't know anything about the battery or anything it's just a micro inverter it exports energy as long as the grid is there but here in my case in this situation right now it doesn't occur because i still have 860 watts of ac load and i still have dc load so there's a good portion of load still connected and it can easily it can easily manage these 74 watts here and put this into the load and just ramp down the generator input as needed so in this case there's no problem at all it would be a problem if i turn off all my loads DC and AC and the energy of the micro inverter cannot go anywhere anymore. And you can set a different assistant in the MultiPlus as well to prevent this from happening. So the generator is not allowed to start if your state of charge of the battery is above 80% for example. Because it doesn't make sense then, right? Well, there's one scenario where it actually makes sense. And this is if your load connected to your MultiPlus is higher than what the MultiPlus can actually deliver. Then a generator can supply the additional load needed and you may have this running even at 100% state of charge. But this is a very rare occasion of a very special system design you have then and you potentially have to take other measures to prevent this from happening. No, actually that's not a scenario either because then all your AC generated energy would go into your load first and only the additional energy would come from the generator. So I don't think anything will happen at all. Okay guys, I don't know exactly what will happen. There are so many scenarios you have to think about, but please leave your comments down below. What do you expect? What will happen if the MultiPlus cannot shift the frequency because there's an AC input signal with constant 50 Hertz? I don't think there will be anything happening. Okay, my friends, I don't think we will see the big boom here, which some of you may have expected. So in this scenario, everything depends a bit how much AC coupled solar is actually coming in and if this can be used to power your loads. If it is more than powering your loads, the MultiPlus will increase the voltage and then turn off at some stage and you lose power altogether. This is my prediction, but leave your comments down below. I'm really keen to see what you think. Maybe some of you have tested this already accidentally or on purpose. So share your experience with that, please. Leave your comments down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your great support here on the channel. There are wonderful people out there. Thank you very much for your donations. And until the next video, when we have... Sunshine again, hopefully. You stay charged, stay safe. And uh, thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.
the next day. Okay, my friends, we now have the situation here that we have no AC load, no DC load, almost no DC load. We've got a bit of um, tilt system energy coming in, a bit of solar. The generator is still turned on, battery is fully charged, but frequency is on 50 hertz, so we cannot increase because of the generator connected. Well, the voltage is still 230 volts and it's not increasing as I was expecting it. Okay, I'm trying to turn off all the loads as far as I can. So the question is, this energy needs to go somewhere. If everything is turned off, where is this energy going to? Still 230 volts. It cannot go into the Phoenix inverter. The battery doesn't take any energy anymore. No AC loads, no DC loads, nothing, but still 160 volts. Where is this going? 100, 230 volts still. I've got my finger here on my hot water system. As soon as something happens, I can turn on a load and um, it takes the energy away. But that's interesting, right? Where is this energy going? 160 watts now. The VRM calculates it's going back into the grid, but it can't because this is not the grid, this is a generator and it cannot take energy. 50 hertz, 230 volts still. But we see like little peaks now of 232 volts sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. That is strange. This power needs to go somewhere. Let me know down below.